What's up YouTube, this is your friend today, TP101, and in this video I'm going to be going over my top tweaks of the week. So this, these tweaks are in no particular order, so yeah, let's get started. So the first one is called Lot Glyph. I've already made a video on it, so not much to cover, but it's much faster. In my first video I told you guys it wasn't that fast. I know you could switch up the animation. So, if I... so that's Lot Glyph right there. It just give you that Apple Pay animation on, this, on your lock screen whenever you open your phone. And that nice little unlock sound. So that's lock glyph, guys. So now you could go in the settings. Scroll down. I know there's a lot more settings. Before when I did the video, there was no settings at all. You could only disable it. But now we got a lot more. So you could just mess with those and get it set up. You could switch to colors just like I had my red and green. So yeah, that's lock glyph, guys. Check out the video the description and then my second one is called badgeomizer you see the badge right there see how that that's a different shape it has a different color and everything you wanna go to delete something it looks different that's badgeomizer so basically this tweet just lets you customize your badges Where is that? so there it is you could go in there you could tweet the color See that I just switched mine to red. I exit out. Now it's red. So that's one is called Badger Miser, guys. I'm not gonna go in too much in depth. Just check them out for yourself. Okay, so my next one is called Transparent Volume 8. So if I hit my volume button, even though my phone is turning up, you could barely see it, or you can't see it at all. So that's done with transparent volume, guys. So let's exit out. Just gonna focus a little bit. Okay. So there it is right there. See it's all the way down. So if I turn it all the way up. Exit it out. Sometimes you gotta lock your phone and then open back up. Now you can see the volume. So that's what that does guys. It just makes you change the opacity basically have your volume icon when you hit your volume button so yeah so the other one guys is called no live clock no live clock lets you you know how the clock icon come on open up thing the clock icon right there it used to be constantly in motion constantly constantly in motion that this tweak lets you stop that even though it's on the right time right now so basically every time I close and go back into the app the time will adjust to the current time but it won't be in constant motion so that's what that one does guys it's called no live clock and then my fifth one is called roomy roomy basically is for notification center if you're on your lock screen and you get a notification it just takes up the whole the whole screen if not that's that little spot it just takes up the whole screen just gives you more more room basically as the tweak said i'm not going to really demonstrate you right now because i don't have any um notification but it works and then my other one is called no lock screen no lock screen date look at my lock screen right there see that the date just dissolved away just basically disappeared so that's what this tweet does guys it just let it dissolve it does disappear after a couple seconds you look at it you look at it you see what time it is you see the date and then it just goes away to make your lock screen look a lot more clean and yeah I like them. that one is called no lock screen date and my what's this one seventh one is called never gonna buy never gonna buy is basically for iTunes music so I'm listening to no one knows my this song right here nowhere on the screen is asking me to buy this song even when I go to the lock screen hold up let me hit play Turn it down. There's no, there's nothing basically asking me to buy the sound. Usually, there's a buy button somewhere on, or all over the screen where you gotta, where they give you the option to buy it. But this one says never gonna buy, will, will block that. So you see that, that how clean that was. Never gonna buy just takes away the buying um, option from the iTunes Music. 
I mean, iTunes Radio. So my last one, guys, is called Eternum. And Eternum basically gives you the Apple iWatch look on your iPhone. So if I triple tap my, my home button, there you go. See that? So now I got the whole look by the Apple iWatch. So I could click on any one of these. I could click on Netflix and it will work. Before certain ones didn't really work. I know you got the dock down here, so that's real cool. So if we go into settings, right there, we got the option to use dock. So if we take that away, it's going to respring real quick. Now it just takes up the whole screen. So that's what Eternum does, guys. It just gives you the Apple iWatch UI over your phone. And you could go into your phone. And you could go into your messages, WhatsApp, and all that. But mine is always locked. And how you activate this, guys, is basically when you download it, it comes with. Um, activator so you could set up the activation meta method but by default if you triple tap the home button it goes back to normal and that's how you activate it I think it's real cool just to show off I mean I've been using it for a day and everybody seems to like it even though most people when I show them they're like the icons are around they don't even know it's the Apple iWatch but it is what it is so this is how the Apple iWatch is gonna look so if you're gonna get the Apple iWatch it would be cool to have this to match the watch the, the watch look so there you go guys those are my top top tweaks of the week so basically every Saturday I would try to upload a video with all the, my top tweaks that came out during that week so if you like this um, if you like this just hit that subscribe button sprint with ATP 101 rate comment and definitely subscribe for more videos like this peace thanks for watching